Hey everyone, what's up? It's Joe. Um, we got a cool tutorial for you guys today. Great for people who want to build websites or just want a way to manage their website. Is how to install the CMS WordPress. So, here's WordPress. WordPress is a CMS content management system that you install on your website, and it's like a blog slash website, and you log into an admin panel to manage it instead of going like this would be mine I had not logged in but so you log into an admin panel to manage it so um so I'm going to show you how to install it now the installation of WordPress isn't that difficult but the things you need are a web host must they must support MySQL and PHP and you don't need a lot of space so let's start off first download WordPress 3.0 download it okay so come up if you're in Firefox save file if you're not just save the file on your computer it's a pretty fast download okay now while that's downloading let's set up some stuff in our web server now this is my web server admin you may have cPanel depends on your web server this is a free host called 00webhost.com not a bad host I mean for a free one so go down now you need to make a MySQL database for WordPress I already have one for my other WordPress install but I'm going to make another one so let's call this um, tutorial for the database name uh, for the username we'll call it tutoria and then for the password let's call it tutorial123 tutorial one two three create database I don't need to so now here's all the information the database host now we're gonna keep this for a second now the other thing you need when installing WordPress is an FTP but we'll get to that later okay so just forget I said that for right now actually I shouldn't have I apologize so take the WordPress file I have WinRAR but basically all you want to do you can do it an explorer too, so I'm just gonna open containing folder. Um is extract it. So I'm gonna extract mine to my desktop for per for convenience. Oopsies. Extract files to desktop. Okay. So here we go. Now while that's going, I'll go to my desktop. Alright. And it is the folder called WordPress. Go figure. So here you go. So now you got all these files. Now basically what you want to do is you need to edit just one file. That's all the configuring you have to do. And it's the wp-config-sample. Double click it. Take a second cuz I have to open Dreamweaver. But yours may open a Notepad. It's a .php file. Now basically here this is how simple it is. WordPress basically says it for you. So it says database name. So you're going to put our database name in between these two little marks quotations. Sorry. So let me grab that. Okay. So I'm just going to copy the database name. So database name is the second one for me. Copy. Database name. And we're going to put that right there. So just paste over that. So it looks like that. So these two hashtags have to be there. Because that always confused me. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't confuse you. So grab the database user. Okay. Database user name. Here. Paste. The database. Oopsies. Apologize. The database host well first the database password then the database host I could type this in but I'm just kind of lazy and I think it's a little quicker because I can't because I I'm just in, cause just this is just to make no mistakes because if this doesn't work your whole site does not work it needs the MySQL database okay and paste okay there we go so now 
once you have that done you're gonna click file save as or you can hit file because basically you need to change the name so instead of sample you're just gonna hit wp dash config and then type dot php that's very important it needs to be a dot php file okay close now you need an FTP client. I use FileZilla, it's free. I'll put the link in the video description, as all the other links. And basically download the FileZilla client. This is the first page right here. So once you have that, open up. So now basically what you need to do is you need to open up your FTP client. So you, whatever that's FileZilla core FTP type in FTP. FileZilla is probably the best free one and it's probably just as good as any paid one. I don't even think there's that many out there. Basically the connect though if you've never worked with any of these you need your host, your username, and your password. So I mean let's say you have 00 web hosting you can just go back to the control panel click on view FTP details and there it is my host is my domain it's my username and then my password okay so when you get that just connect I'm gonna go into my past connections because I have one already set up so now going to your public HTML first actually let's so now so I have all these files here this is actually my other work this is my sites WordPress install all these so um, we're gonna have to ignore these so I'm just gonna make a new directory for this WordPress install but if you are installing this, so when you go to the, your domain, it's there. You're going to want to install it in the public HTML files. But I'm going to make, so in that directory, create a new directory, and I'm just going to call this tutorial directory. Okay? Hit OK. So it's right there. Oopsies. Okay. So now here's a blank directory. It's the tutorial directory and basically here's what I have to do now let me just find my WordPress folder WordPress there we go here it is wp.config the sample's still there we can delete that after or now doesn't matter it won't do any harm just take up space so basically select everything once right in the folder and just drag it over okay now you see your FTP is going to be running a bunch of stuff um, this is fairly quick, depending on your internet connection. I'm not sure exactly how many files, but... See, if you see any red in here, if you have FileZilla, that's a bad thing. Okay? So, um, instead of sitting here and watching this, I will be back in a minute when this is done. So, I'm gonna pause the video now. Okay, hey guys, um, so now it says directly listing re... Um, com successful so that it means my install is complete so all the files have been transferred so so now what we need to do is we need to navigate to that section so yours if you just installed it in the public HTML directory will just be your domain mine since I installed it in a directory is going to be the tutorial directory since that's what I called it so hit enter installation here we go okay site title alright I'm gonna call this tutorial. tutorial site. Now here's the thing I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna make the passwords public since I won't be using this. And um and you guys will be able to log in and stuff, okay? So the admin password is going to be um the min password is gonna be tutorial. Okay? Tutor, please. Tutorial. Okay. I'm gonna put my email address in there. Okay. And allow my sites to appear in search engines like Google and Techerati. Why not? So if you've never used WordPress or you're just bored and you want to have some fun, feel free to log in and mess with it. So WordPress has been installed. Were you expecting more steps? Sorry to disappoint. I will. So username, password. So we're just gonna click out login. So the username is admin. Admin. 
and the password is tutorial. Just click log in. Here we go. This is everything's kind of loading up, but here we go. I've got a quick press. Welcome. I can just publish that. Okay. I click the tutorial thing to view the site. Look at this. Here we go. This is the default template. Looks pretty nice. WordPress 3. So feel free to log into this. I'll, I'll leave the URL to log in, but just be warned. Any this is how you log into your admin account because I forgot this when I first did because it's not admin at the end of the URL so take your wherever your WordPress is installed so let's say it's just at skippertech.co.cc to get to my admin I just add WP dash admin so whatever it is slash WP dash admin okay so if I were you I just bookmark it I've got skipper tech there I just click that and it's good so um, thanks for watching this tutorial guys, if you liked the video or you found it useful please subscribe, all links are in the video description as all my videos, thank you, um, yeah, later.